Another factor that the courts look at is the mental and physical capabilities of all parties involved. Um, and this is certainly a slippery slope um, because um, you might often hear, oh, my ex is crazy, my ex is crazy, right? Um, it's usually not the case. Um, but however, if there are some mental handicaps that um, make it more difficult for a parent to have parenting time, um, there's a fine line between discriminating so against someone who has you know, something um, perceived to be wrong with them that they have no control over and protecting the best interest of the child. So a lot of thought um, and perspective needs to go into that. You know, are there medications, are there treatments for any sort of perceived mental um, incapacity, so to speak. Um, often enough, this really comes up with drug or alcohol dependency, um, which is certainly the lion's share of uh, the issues that really deal with this factor. Um, and if a parent does have any sort of alcohol or chemical dependencies, um, the bigger question is, what are they doing about it? Right? Um, so are they in treatment? Do they acknowledge it? Um, are they mitigating the, the harm that it could possibly come to the child? Right? Um, in Colorado, marijuana is a big one. Right? Um, a lot of people smoke marijuana or use marijuana. And the Colorado law is pretty clear that the use of marijuana alone is not enough to restrict a parent's time. It's what's the nexus between that use of marijuana and the parenting time. If you can't connect a nexus, um, the court's probably not going to want to hear it. Um, and that, that typically goes with alcohol and other substance abuses. But this is a factor um, that the court will look at when making a parenting time um, order. Another factor that the court looks at, and I think this one's a huge one, is the ability of each parent to foster the love, affection, and respect for the other parent. Right? Can they place the needs of the child above their own? And I think that this is one of the, the factors that the court weighs heavily on. Right? They don't want a situation where mom's alienating father or you know mom's disparaging father or, or fathers doing or fathers disparaging mother right are the adults able to put their differences aside for the sake of their child if the answer is no on either side of that coin um, the court's going to take that heavily into consideration so with that said um, especially if you're in the middle of a case a pen, the case pending you're under a microscope so save those text messages that have nothing to do with the child or demeans or belittles the other parent. Just don't send them because um, that's going to be exhibit A and that's going to be exhibit B as to why um, you shouldn't get the parenting time that you're requiring.